All right, we're going to take a look at long division and focus on the steps. So here we go. Step one, divide. Step two, multiply. Step three, subtract. Step four, check. And then bring down back to the top. And you just keep repeating these five steps until there's nothing left to bring down. So let's take a look. If we start with a number like 75, and we're going to divide it by 2. Step 1 is the division. Now we also want to look at everything needs to be kept in the columns. So we're using these. Think of these as seven $10 bills and five $1 bills. That would be 75. So if we have two people and we're dividing seven ten dollar seven ten dollar bills, how many would they each get? How many times does two go into seven? Or seven divided by two. So if we do the multiples of two, two, four, six, eight, eight's too far, so we have to back up. So it went in two, four, six, three times. So our three goes up here. 2 goes into 7, 3. Now, step 2, multiply. 3 times 2 is 6, and our answer goes right under here. We're kind of making a circle. 2 goes into 7, 3. 3 times 2 is 6. Okay? Next step is to subtract. So we had 7 tens. We made two groups with three in each group, so we used six of them, so how many do we have left? I'm just going to put this down here, and you'll see why in a minute, but here's my subtraction problem. Seven minus six is one. Step four is to check. I have one ten dollar bill left, but two people. Can they each have another one? The answer is no, which is good. That's what we want. We don't want to be able to give them another one. So now, step five, bring down the five. So we're going to bring it down and write it here. Now we have 15. We're going to take that $10 bill and trade it in for 10 $1 bills plus these five $1 bills. Now we have 15 $1 bills. And we have two people that we're splitting it between. So right now, each person already has three $10 bills. So now we have 15 divided by 2. So we're back to the top. Divide. 15 divided by 2. Or 2 goes into 15 how many times? If we count by 2's, the multiples of 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. 16 is too far, so we have to back up. So it was only 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. That was 7 times. So 15 divided by 2 is 7. We put it here. So 2 goes into 15, 7. Here's our circle again. 7 times 2 is 14. So now we're going to subtract step 3. 15 minus 14. And I'll put another one of these down here and make it longer. 15 minus 14. We have one left. And now we check. We have one $1 bill and two people. Can they each have another one? No. That's good. Bring down. Well, there's no other digits to bring down. So the one becomes our remainder. We have remainder put an R, and then the 1 comes up here as well. So when we subtract, we write the 1 here, but then we also have to write the 1 up here. It's a leftover. We can't divide it evenly. Let's take a look at another example now. Eighty-nine divided by 
five. And I'm going to put our line down here again to separate our columns. It's good to think about keeping things in columns. So step one, divide. Eight divided by five. Or how many fives are in eight? Count the multiples of five. Five, ten. Ten's too far. We've got to back up. So it was only one time. Step two, multiply. One times five is five. So out of those eight, we made five groups of one. That means we used five. Next step, subtract. Eight minus five is three. And then we check. I have three $10 bills and five people. Can they each have another one? No. So. I have to trade those three $10 bills in for 10, 20, 30. 30 $1 bills plus these nine $1 bills over here. So I'm going to bring it down. And now I have 39. And I'm going to divide it by that same five. So when I'm writing this out, I'm just going to write another five out here. So now I have 39 $1 bills divided by five. So how many fives are in 39? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 40 is too far, so I have to go back one. So the answer is 7. 7 goes up here. 5 goes into 39, 7. 7 times 5 is 35. Step three, I'm going to subtract. Nine minus five is four. Three minus three is zero. Check, I have four one dollar bills left and five people. I can't give them each another one. So this has to become my remainder. Remainder. And then I write it again up here. So if we had $89 and we were dividing it by five people, each person would get one $10 bill and seven ones, $17, and there would be $4 left over. And you know how it is when you give, you know, if it's not fair and you give one kid more than the other, they say, that's not fair, he got more than me, man, man, man. And nobody wants to hear that, so we don't give any extras. We just keep those remainders off to the side, and they're extras.